Hi, my name is John with Rational CAD, and today I'll be showing you how to do a circular pattern. So the first thing that we need to do is create a part. So come up here to New Document. Part's already selected, so just hit OK. Now that we are in model space, we need to create our base. So let's come up here to Sketch. We're going to be on the top plane, so just select the top plane. And we're going to use a circle as our base, so use the circle command and create a rough circle around the origin. Hit escape to highlight the uh, rough circle. Now we need to dimension it, so use smart dimension and dimension the part. For this tutorial, I'm just going to call it 12 inches. Hit OK. Now we need to go into features. Do an extruded boss base, and we're going to extrude it up 1 inch. Hit OK. Now we have our base created. So now we need to add features on top of it. And since we're doing a circular pattern, uh, we're just going to put a circle on the top plane and then we're going to pattern it around the base. So I'm going to orient myself uh, to the top plane so I can view it better. I'm going to come to sketch. I'm going to create a sketch on that top plane. And then I'm going to place a circle roughly where I need it to be. I want to add an, a relation to this circle, so I'm going to, underneath Display Delete Relation, click Add Relation. I want a relation between this point and the origin, and I want it to be vertical. Hit OK. And now we need to start placing some dimensions. So the first dimension I'm going to do is this dimension right here. And I'm going to call it 4.5 inches. The next one I need to do is diameter. So smart dimension, diameter, and I'm going to call it one and a half inches, 1.5. Hit OK. And now we need to do an extruded cut of that uh, hole. So go to features, click extruded cut, and you can see that that feature is selected. But instead of blind, we're going to use through all. Hit OK. And now we need to set our parameters for our circular pattern. So we're going to need a center line. So let's go to Sketch, Sketch, select this plane, do the drop down underneath line, and you can see center line right here. And make a center line like this. I'm going to better orient myself to see the part better. And now we exit this sketch, go back into features, and over here underneath linear pattern, do the drop down and you can see circular pattern. So the features and the faces that we want to do is in our tree. So uh, click the plus button and you can see all the commands that you have done. The uh, feature that we're looking for is the cut extrude. So select that. And then we're going to come up here to parameters, and we're going to select the center line that we just created. So once we have that completed, all we have to do is hit this green check mark, and it patterns those holes all the way around the part. For this tutorial, I want to make it a little bit more interesting, so I'll create a post on top of this top plane as well, just to give it some validity. Sketch, select the top plane, do a circle command, create a rough circle, hit OK, smart dimension, dimension that circle, let's call it 5 inches, go to features, extrude boss base, and we're going to extrude that up, say 8 inches, hit OK. And now you have a simple part that could be mounted to whatever fixture you would want. So I hope that this helped you out. I really appreciate you viewing this video. Please like and subscribe.